We're standing in the mezzanine of the Appalachian Theater, which is the level between the first floor where you would have entered the theater and the balcony where some people would sit. Um, the mezzanine was reached by the two staircases that were on either side of that outer lobby area uh, as you came in past the concession stand. And from the mezzanine, there were two fairly steep ramps that would lead up to the balcony seating area. Now what's important about the mezzanine area is the function that it served. In addition to having some storage in a closet off to my left here, um, there were also three rooms located on this level. Two of them were bathrooms, and you can see them in these two spaces here. The first one was the men's room located here, and the other was the ladies' room located here. And as you can tell from these spaces, they were very small, and in fact, they were what we call in the parlance of our times, one holers, a single stall. Now think about the fact that the original theater could seat up to 997 people and you get a sense of how tight restroom space was. Two stalls for all of those people must have meant some pretty long lines from time to time. In between the two bathrooms was the manager's office and this was the only office space in the theater. And as you can see, it was also a relatively small space. What's significant about these two bathrooms, as I mentioned, they were the only two public bathrooms in the theater. And from 1938 to 1948, they were used by whites only because this was a whites only theater. From 1948 to February of 1960, these bathrooms were still whites only, which meant that African-American patrons who were permitted to come here and sit in the balcony had nowhere that they could go to the bathroom. We've interviewed a number of people who were African-American people growing up here in Boone who recall that essentially that meant that you had to plan ahead. You went somewhere else, usually at home, before you came to town to see a movie.